Isn't this the coolest view? Can you guess where I am? No. No. I'm in Santa Monica, California. We're at the beautiful Viceroy Hotel. I just love these hotel halls. <gasps> Here's my room. Uh, and this is the room to ask for. This is worth your trip to Santa Monica. I'm in room 818 of the Viceroy. And here's me to prove it's me. It's me! Look at mirrors everywhere. Beautiful room. The Viceroy on the top floor offers you this view. The Pacific Ocean. Hello, Nashville. <laughs> I hope there's no tsunami. I believe that's the Santa Monica Pier. Maybe see the Ferris wheel on top of that building. Absolutely gorgeous hotel. You're going to see a lot of it on this trip. Why say the Joe Elvis, are you in Santa Monica? Well, we're rocking the free world. You're going to hear a lot about this. The show is Franklin and Bash. It's on TNT. That's Brecken Meyer on the right and Mark Paul Gossler. Let's try it again. That's Brecklin on the left and Mark Paul on the right. You're going to hear a lot about them. You're going to meet them. We're going to talk about this great show. But once again, we'll look at this great view. If you come to Santa Monica, stay at the Viceroy in room 818. This is what you'll see, Nashville. Here's what we saw out the window. We're on the pier. This is the Pacific. Oh, you can see way down there. A little bit of the Hollywood Hills looking houses up there. Warm, breezy, but the water ain't that warm. Y'all crazies, we're on the pier. That's what it looks like from where we came from. Don't get dizzy. There's the other end. Cool place. If you're coming to a bash, it's the big Franklin and Bash. Say what? The back of the pool is very cool. This is where the party will be later tonight, before it gets dark, before everybody gets here. Beautiful. When you're coming to the Bash, The party continues. Little game. Only when you are in Los Angeles. You know you've made it big when you can get your own logo in the pool. <laughs> you've heard everything. Same, uh, same birthday is my father. Elvis dies the same day as my birthday. When's your birthday? Uh, August uh, August 15th. Elvis dies on the 16th. So okay. With yeah. that and a case of beer. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dig it. Thank you. <laughs> the voices of Brecklin Meyer and Mark Paul Gossler say hello to Nashville. Within two hours of uh, Nashville, folks are hearing you. And a new TV night has been set, Wednesday, June 1st, 8 o'clock our time on TNT, Franklin and Bash. And uh, guys, say hello to Nashville. Hello, hello Nashville. Nashville. Hi, Nashville. Hello, Brooklyn. You guys been to Nashville? I, Did you just call me Brooklyn? Uh, I didn't call you Brooklyn. Did oh. I? Did you just call Oh, okay. Brecken? It's Brecken, but oh, I, 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 thought I, thought I thought you said We've that. been drinking. It's only <laughs> it's, it's, it's 11.30. Whatever. Come on, man. Come on, I give us a care. break. Liquid lunch. Enjoy Franklin. <laughs> TNT, we know. Shut up. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Nashville. Nashville's a rocking town. We we squash country in its own backyard. So, and I can't say this this show this show rocks. This it's it's a high energy gig. Uh, Franklin and Bash on TNT. And so, I was trying to think. You know, M Montana had Rice, Penn had Teller, and now it's Franklin and Bash. Yes. And I enjoyed the line in the show. It's a uh, F. Lee Bailey meets Barnum and it's Bailey. It's Barnum and Bailey, yeah. And that was a great line. Uh, Brecken and, and uh, it's going to be a great show. This is it's, it's high energy, great writing, 
and uh, love the music. Thanks, man. The writing yeah. is really good, and that's that's something that attracted us to this project. Is the the writing? It's a legal drama, uh, but the uh, the writers have done a, are very creative and, and, and put comedy into a, a legal drama. So it's not your typical uh, law show, right? Um, and then you have uh, and then you have us, our little relationship that we have on the show. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> it's quite refreshing. Yeah. It is refreshing. It's like a nice warm towel from God. Well, you know, it, it like as Mark Paul said, uh, a warm towel from God. Yeah. It's, well, that's how the show was pitched to me. Was it? No. <laughs> it's not your stereo. It's not the typical, uh, you know, rich lawyer guys riding around in the Jaguar. Some no. of that go on. You two portray street lawyers, and I love the opening scene of it's a guy who gets in a wreck from watching a billboard. Uh, With he, a party girl on He's it. distracted yeah. by the golden triangle there, and you <laughs> defend this in court, and, and uh, you always have a little bit of an angle. No matter what's going on, there's always an angle that you guys are coming in on. Yeah, yeah they, they, they push the limit as far as what they're allowed to do in the courtroom, but they also know it's a show, and the jury wouldn't mind being entertained as well as you know getting, getting their clients off, so they're going to kind of do anything they can for their client, if that means... Having a pretty girl take her top off in court, so be it. I'll go to jail for a bit, and I'll come out. But we'll get our client off. Giving away a little bit of that first episode. A little bit. Yeah, we're so, we, we rewatched it on the airplane as that scene came up. And it oh, yeah, yeah. And it was, you know, was, yeah. Uh, what are you guys watching? Uh, but it's, it's, a, the, it's the misdirection, and uh, Mark Paul, your character is more of the, I don't know, kind of the inside. You try to pick up the inner thoughts by just staring at their eyes and then seeing where you can take it from there. A lot of uh, imp improvisation on the go there. Yeah, I, it, it, in that particular episode, my, my character connects really well with, with, with the jury, but um, depending on the situation, as, as the season progresses, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the characters will pick up for each other. Uh, it's not necessarily that I'm the straight man, he's the funny man. It's it just for different situations we assume the roles. Yeah. In that particular case with, with that woman, you you, was, you went to, to jail. I went to jail. I did a little time. He, <laughs> a little time, he, for, he played, little, little time for contempt. He played the uh, the Barnum and the Bailey. I, did. I went for the Barnum side. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, in the uh, another episode that folks are going to see here on TNT, Franklin and Bash is the... Uh, you know, the, the thing that happens in all our lives where your wife tries to kill you with sex. Sure. Suppose Who hasn't been there? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I remember that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm McDowell. Uh, yeah. I think, Brecken, your character calls him the emperor of defense. Yeah. He's Good a, little showcase for Malcolm in that episode. What, what's the impact of you guys getting to hang out with uh, Malcolm McDowell? It's incredible. He is so good. He's so much fun on the show, and uh, we had never met him before, and the, the minute we did, we were all just riffing on each other, goofing off, and it makes going to work an absolute pleasure. And he is, he sets the bar. I mean, he really does as far as professionalism mixed with improv and having fun and willing to do whatever. Uh, he's just, he's seen it all and he's done it all. He's incredible. I think he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? I don't know. We should check. This might just become a benefit for his family. Uh, but I think he's pretty, he's pretty unbelievable. What was your, uh, you have a favorite movie for Malcolm McDowell? Any of them? Uh, yeah, Clockwork. Clockwork Orange. Yeah, Clockwork. From a Star Trek episode. Uh, you know, the guy has done it all and yeah, truly plays all. the sensei with his black belt and his geek. Yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a great, great character. Franklin and Bash, we get it here 8 o'clock Central Time, Wednesday, June 1st. And uh, again, the music, it's it's a hot rocking from Deep Purple to whatever blues cut you're going to hear. Uh, there's even a bet up for a hot guitar during one of these episodes. Yep. And I know Brecken's a drummer. You're playing guitar in a lot of them. Do um, you get to pick some of the songs? We've tossed out ideas. A little bit input. A little yeah. bit. Right? They, a little bit. Yeah, they, they listen to us. Every, or they pretend to listen to us, it seems. So. Yeah. So, yeah. It's nice. And, of course, uh, the ass shot. Mm -hmm. Mrs. wants to know, that was yours? Uh, it yeah. was actually Brecken. It was mine. Brecken. It was CG, they CG'd my they ass on Mark Paul's yeah. waist. <laughs> Very good show. Very Usually, my, everything from the waist down on me. Is it's really me. <laughs> Little known fact. Sounds weird that you said I everything below the waist on me is brisket. Just move on. Okay. Well, uh, it's uh, also something you say a lot. Whatever. <laughs> I appreciate your time because uh, TNT has just developed great shows, and this is another one on the line. Franklin and Bash. We get it here, eight o'clock central, Wednesday, June first. Cool. Best of luck and success to the gig. Thanks, sir. Yeah.